Hi, EFO. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to your first ICT lesson of this week. Um, we are no longer going to be working on the movie maker. I think we mastered everything. So that's a, a finished topic for now. And this way we are going to be focusing on PowerPoint and how to make them. Uh, why do we need to know this or why do we need to acquire this skill? This skill is really important because um, basically in the future, not even not only at school, um, in different places, maybe in your future job, you will need to know how to create a PowerPoint presentation. You will be asked for presentations for the, from different people. Um, in year four, we have already had, we've already had uh, some students creating their own PowerPoint presentations, but most of us still don't know how to properly explore it and use it. So uh, we will start in today's lesson. All right, let, let me take a look at the presentation that you um, will find on Class Dojo or My Learning. This is it. It's an actual really short uh, presentation. Um, you will have to, so step number one, you will have to choose from four topics. My family, online safety, about UAE, or my favorite place to visit. You choose whatever one of these topics. Right, let's say I am a student in EFO. 4 I am going to choose my favorite place to visit. My favorite, favorite place to visit is Bali, so I'm going to stick with that. All right, next you will find all the instructions you need to um, be successful in this task, to create a, a PowerPoint presentation with six slides. However, you don't actually need to read through them. Uh, you just need to pay attention to my video. I am going to go through it step by step. All right, so next step is opening a PowerPoint, uh, opening PowerPoint on our laptops, okay? So we need to go into on the left, um, right, um, you probably can't see it on, you probably can't see it in this video, but on the bottom left part of my screen, I have the search bar, so I'm just going to type in PowerPoint. There we go. Just click on it and wait for it to start up. Sometimes take a while for PowerPoint to start, but uh, oh, that was fast. Anyway, um, so you now have two options. You can either choose blank presentation, okay, and you can design it in whatever way you want, or You can choose one of these templates here, okay? There are so many templates you can choose from. Um, it's completely up to you if you want to do blank presentation or if you want to do, um, if you want to choose a template. I personally prefer to choose a template, but as I said, it's completely up to you. Right, if you choose a template, let's say I really like... Mm -mm -mm, I really like this one. All right. Now it will give you an option of how, uh, I mean, there is an option with different layouts. So you can choose how your PowerPoint is going to look. Okay. So if you don't like the, if, for example, I don't like the yellow color, so I'm going to go for the green color. And then I just click on create. There we go. Click to add title. Now you need to add a title. Okay. So we have these four topics to choose from. I chose my favorite place to visit. So I click in and I'm going to write my favorite place to visit. Okay, this is my title. You can add a subtitle. So my favorite place to visit is Bali. So I am going to write it. Now, you can change the color of your font or the size of your font or even the style of your font. Let's say I don't like uh, the whole look of my title. So I am going to highlight it. Okay. I'm going to select it. And here in this panel, I can choose uh, the, the size of my font. I can upsize or downsize or I can write in the number. So downsize up size okay i like this size i don't like the font so here's the 
font bar. So I'm going to choose one of these options. Uh, let's say I really like this one. I'm going to choose this one. You can even change the color if you don't like the color. The color bar is here. Okay, um, I'm going to go for like um, purple. I love purple. Okay, and you can do the same with your subtitle. Okay, I am going to upsize here. Okay, and I'm going to change the font. I'm going to change it to... Mm, there's loads. I'm going to change it to this one. I like the color, so I'm going to leave the color as it is, okay? And now, how will you go into the next slide, okay? Now, you will, um, so you need to put your mouse cursor here and then click, uh, click one right click with your mouse or on your computer. If you have like a touchpad, it's the a bottom right button. So one right click new slide okay i'm gonna repeat it right click new slide there we go so now you have to create six of these all right so um i'm going to um, create my title bali my favorite place to visit um, as I said before, I can let me make this bigger. I can make um, the font smaller. Um, I can change the color of my font if I want to. Uh, I can choose uh, the, the type of the font, how it looks. Okay. Um, no, I don't like that one. Um, Okay, this is nice. And now, when you click in, okay, you will have the first bullet point here, okay? Now, each slide must have three bullet points, okay? So, what you have to do first, first you need to do a little bit of research on, on the topic that you chose, right? So, I'm going to go into Google Chrome. Um... I'm going to click on Google. I'm sorry, my computer is a little bit slow today. Bali. Um, okay, I'm going to do six slides. So first, I'm going to do my first slide is going to be about general information. And then each slide will have like um, food in Bali, culture of Bali, language of Bali, population. I will do different subtopics on Bali. So Bali, interesting Bali. No, no, I'm going to type in Bali. You can click into Wikipedia. You can read through whatever appears on your screen and just choose the relevant information, okay? So here I have Bali is a province in Indonesia and the westernmost of the Lesser Sunda Islands, okay? All right, so that's a, a very important piece of information. So... I can copy this, okay, copy, and here, first bullet point. All right, I don't like that it's all, uh, I'm going to remove this part, for example. I don't want that there, and I don't like that it has different colors, so I'm going to press on black color. I don't want it all underlined. Also, this part, I don't want it to be underlined. So here is a tool. It's not really doing anything for some reason. It's not removing it. So I will have to type it. Somewhere. Okay, and I will delete the rest. There we go. Um, then another fact is... Bali is Indonesia's main tourist destination with a significant rise in tourism since 1980s. That's a really good piece of general information about Bali. And my third bullet point will be... Um, 
Bali is a part of the whole triangle. So you just need to choose whatever is really important or stands out for you, okay? Um, okay, here, the conf... Um, so it says here that um, Bali is... okay is a confederation okay so um it says here it is a home of it's it's composed of different kingdoms so i'm gonna copy that i find that really important piece of information and now i'm just gonna again uh put it all in black there we go and add a picture how can you add a picture to your powerpoint presentation again you can go on google i'm gonna type in bali images oh this is the first one is actually lovely so i'm going to click on it if you remember in our ict classes we were learning a lot about how to um, download pictures so right click save image as and please choose pictures or the destination where you want to put it okay so i chose pictures i'm gonna name it bali bali picture there we go now how can I put it in my PowerPoint presentation? I will open pictures again, and I will find my picture. Bali, there, there it is. And all you have to do is actually drag it here. And now all you have to do is just adjust it, okay? It's, it's too big, it's covering my text, so it needs to be smaller. And you can even add multiple pictures if you want. So basically you will, so this is a title page, okay? And you will have to do six of these, okay? Each one will have a title, three bullet points, and try to add a picture if you can. Then please record a video of your PowerPoint presentation and upload it on ClassDojo. So this is all from my side for this lesson. Uh, thank you for listening. If you are not sure about some of the steps, please just go back to my video and just go back to the points I mentioned and just look at it, take your time and create a nice PowerPoint presentation for your teachers to look at. All right. Thank you so much and looking forward to the second ICT lesson of this week. Bye.